Welcome to round three of the Mini Challenge Series 2018 at Snetterton. This is the first of three races over the weekend, over the Mini Fest weekend of the 12th and 13th of May. And as you can see, it's raining. <clears throat> Qualified P3, so I was quite pleased with that. I'm behind Kevin Owen in car number eight to my left and Andy Langley uh, in the car in the Mini ahead of me. Car, is it 53? Uh, off the top of my head, I can't remember. Let me have a look, hang on. 53, that's correct. Andy was uh, Andy Langley in front of me was uh, the pole sitter was the quickest by far, uh, so uh, yeah, he deserves that P1. Uh, as you can see, I bogged down into second, into third, and uh, get overtaken a barrage of cars, um, which yeah, I can't really. Uh, well, I've got no excuses for that. I'm just no good in the wet, or certainly no good at starting full stop. But uh, in the wet, it just sort of magnified the problems uh, that I've been having getting off the line. But that's okay. Um, if you can't overtake if you're in front. <laughs> so, yeah, um, welcome to my wet race. Uh, there goes Sammy. She had a great race actually, uh, worked her way through the field to finish a respectable, uh, I don't know, what was it, fifth in the end? Um, and something like the second or third fastest lap, uh, which is awesome. Um, but uh, for me, not, not so good. Um, so the commentary really is going to be sort of just looking at um, what happened, why why I was so slow. Um, it's fairly obvious. I'm just driving around. I don't want to come off the track for one, and secondly, I don't want to um, skid into anyone else. So those two things combined kind of like had a ten multiplier effect of my uh, on my speed and I just kind of didn't really want to uh, you know, ca cause trouble or just get outside of my comfort zone because you know, one small mistake could mean a large problem for myself and for, 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 for the other drivers so I think you know while I am disappointed with the race uh, for certainly now I'm P8 uh, and um, not really gaining and at this point as well I'm not really sure as to which lines I should be taking they say you know in the, in the rain you want to take go off the racing line but what's interesting is how do you go off the racing line um, when you you've got to cross the racing line at some point as well but um, it's having that courage to go off the racing line and believe that actually it is faster and potentially you've got more grip out there um, and you're not and you're not going slower and so that's that's an interesting way to look at it uh, but yeah the the whole mindset really from from my perspective was to keep it on the tarmac and just feel my way around oh I do overtake uh, Chloe just there in the in the flying zebra um, but she does later on get that position back takes her a few laps um, in fact actually the, the 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 positive that I I, I have taken from this is uh, again sort of just going back to previous races and um, if, I, if I kind of look at those races and what, what the positives were there as well is, is kind of my racecraft is how I position my car how I can overtake and how I how I defend um, so I defended quite well apart from off the start line um, but when, when I get going in the race I actually defended my position P7 uh, which later becomes P6 quite well uh, I say quite well until the last uh, bit, bit sideways there 
uh, until the last uh, penultimate, the penultimate lap, uh, where I cocked up and um, Chloe uh, was able to get past me. But that's later on. Uh, so back to the action. Um, I'm staying to the left here, so that anyone who wants to go fa uh, go past me, and that's pretty much anyone who's got a different car to me because in the straight I'm, I'm not very fast um, it's got to go around the outside and in the wet that's a bit a bit of a challenge really so I stick to the inside and that's pretty much where how I kept Chloe and uh, and the guys behind Chloe behind me um, for most of the race made it very awkward for people to overtake bomb hole in fourth which really should have been a third gear corner in these conditions and Looking back over the footage, and I've looked over it a few times with, you know, through the editing that I've put together, uh, I should have been in a lower gears, um, I think, uh, higher revs, and just smoother on the revs. Um, yeah, because when you when the back end twitches, you need to have the revs and the power to be able to sort of go through that and uh, and control it around uh, the corners. Uh, there goes Chloe. So again in the straight, I've got a bit of a disadvantage, but I like break as per usual. Uh, I'll go a little bit wide, uh, but then actually it wasn't as bad as I thought. And I keep P7 for now. And this is what I was saying. I'm going. Ro I'm hugging the inside. It's not the. It's, it's not the best thing to do, but uh, because I know I'm slow and and and, and Chloe's clearly faster than me. I just wanted to make it awkward for people to overtake me, so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm taking a rather unorthodox uh, view of uh, of the racing line and where I should be position, uh, where I should be, you know, positioning my car. Uh, I'm, I'm effectively positioning my car to defend, not to catch uh, Sammy, who's, um, you know, creating some distance between me and her now. Um, but but I'm, I'm just looking in my rear view mirrors because I'm not a, I'm not confident um, just want to keep it on the tarmac so oh look, there's Kevin uh, uh, yeah I, I'm not sure how Kevin got there um, we did have a chat after the race and he did explain it but I've forgotten um, but that was quite interesting when I drove past <laughs> Kevin was way down the field and to see him there um, was uh, was rather strange actually uh, I think he did lose it on Hamilton um, and he did like a big huge circle uh, and, and what I was sort of witnessing then was him coming back onto the track at the end of his large circle um, so that's me up to P6 um, yeah taking the inside line again through Nelson into Brundle or through Brundle into Nelson um, third gear into fourth but really I should have stayed in third it's very difficult to go around the bomb hole here it's very slippy indeed so if the back end were to go I need some revs to sort of correct that keep control the track is drying up it's, uh, the rain isn't coming down as much uh, so you can start to see a dry line and that's another tricky thing for me you, know, you see the dry line and you go, oh yeah okay so I can go a bit faster um, but no it's still quite slippy um, but actually no it's not as slippy as you think and so you try and calculate where it's slippy and where it's not slippy and uh, I think look, yeah, a bit wide there lack of experience you misjudge it uh, and so you can't take it back. Well, I couldn't take advantage of the dry lines because um, I was just misjudging it all. And that's where everyone was uh, ahead of me was, you know, going off into the distance. But at this point in the race, I'm fine. I'm, I'm thinking, okay. Just keep it on the tarmac. Keep it on the tarmac and keep those guys. There's four. There's four guys behind me. Um, Chloe, Stu, Kevin, and Alan. Keep those four guys behind me, um, and come home in sixth. 
because on a reverse grid I think sixth might get me up into uh, no actually there's no reverse grid for the next race round four you start as you finish so that doesn't matter um, so P6 and P7 not, not a great difference um, this is going to be my worst race and so uh, in terms of points you discard your worst uh, your worst race so really uh, if this is my wor wor worst race then uh, then so be it so p6 p7 for me it's just a, it's just a case of defending um, and and getting track time in the wet uh, I'm driving like um, I'm driving the lines and driving the dry lines and I'm hitting the white curbs as well uh, so, and, and I'm going down into fourth into bomb, uh, back end coming out I'm all over the shop so it's not the correct way to drive this car around this track um, but it's great reviewing this you know putting this onto YouTube and just reviewing it is a really good exercise for me in actual fact uh, I've done this round three I've actually done round four and round five which is on which I've posted up on, on the channel already. Um, so this is my sixth, sixth, fifth. Uh, oh, okay, there goes Stu, so I'll just shut up a sec. Stu goes past, uh, and look how much speed he's got. And uh, yeah, he kind of just carries on um, around the corner. Um, so off he goes, and this is, you can see the speed now. There he goes, it's really difficult to keep the car on the track when you go around uh, that right. And, uh, um, at that speed and um, <laughs> so I keep P6 so that's what I'm talking about you know um, frustrate everyone else and just keep it on the tarmac um, but uh, but yeah going back to what I was saying in terms of uh, doing these commentaries it's, it's really good because it allows me to understand what I'm doing in the car and watch the footage back uh, and by the time I finished editing and then applied and, and did the voiceover, I've watched it about a hundred times. So uh, it's good for me to to, to see where I'm going wrong. Uh, and secondly, um, it, 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 I'm getting better at commentary, which is nice. So I'm getting better at talking and uh, defining what's going on on the track using the right terminology, for the most part, um, on, on the circuits. So apexes. Um, racing line, we broad siding, um, and so on. Um, anyway, yeah, so I'm uh, getting a little bit frustrated with my control of the car there, but actually, it's good fun when you go and slide around the corner. So as long as you keep it on the tarmac, it's uh, it's all it's all good stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm, uh, I'm finding these very useful. Um, it's a very useful exercise to, to review my, my driving. Uh, like I say, I've got, I, need, I need to get as much experience as I can quickly. Um, and reviewing my driving is, is part of gaining that experience. So lap 5, P6. Uh, I've still got Chloe behind me. Um, so... Yes. I think this is the penultimate lap. I am tiptoeing around here. Come on, man, get him! Bloody move on! And it's not—it's not hard for Chloe to go straight past me now. Yeah, easy. Um, again, I, this happened before, so again, I'm thinking I'll just late break, but actually, I'm way back, and and Chloe um, does break later than she did before. And we just touched there, and as you can see, Kevin's gone off uh, where Stu went off on the preceding lap. So um, that corner, uh, Rich's, is my favourite in the drive, but in the wet, if you take it too fast, you just got to nurse it through the grass and get back on at some point. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Chloe um, used her speed on the straight, and my poor exit onto the straight anyway. Um, she, got, she got past me and survived a little knock by me on the rear quarter panel uh, thank god uh, she, it didn't cause Chloe to spin uh, it was one of those moments where in the wet um, you, you simply don't have the stopping power um, that you do in the dry and 
I realised that I wasn't going to make the corner before Chloe, so I needed to, I mean I wasn't even close, so I needed to uh, back out of it and when I applied the brakes, um, I wasn't stopping as quickly as I, I'd wanted and hoped, <laughs> um, but luckily it did stop enough and uh, and Chloe went through and, uh, and there was no damage to the car either. So learning curve for sure. So I'm thinking, can I catch Chloe? This is a good exercise now. I'm, I, I, okay, it's drying out a little bit. Um, I've got, I've had five laps of uh, experience in the wet now. How's my confidence? Can I close this gap? It's the last lap anyway, and, and if I haven't overtaken here in the wet, uh, it's not going to happen. There's just nowhere. There's just nowhere in the wet to overtake around here. You just can't get the traction, you cannot change direction quick enough, um, and it's just one big long bend uh, from here, Corum. But, yeah, not much more to say really. Finished P, started P3, finished P7. Uh, oh, yeah, completely smash my gears there so um, couldn't get it into second gear ridiculous really but I've put that behind me in round five I didn't make any gear change errors I don't think did I well, I better not say that probably did but um, but yeah that that's the most that's the most frustrating thing for me when I fluff the gears because you know it, 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 I've been driving cars for 20 20 over 20 years um, so changing gear has got nothing to do with racing um, <laughs> uh, in terms of experience you should just be able to change gear so uh, yeah that's annoying but anyway uh, there we have it checkered flag P7 um, oh, I'm happy with that I'm happy with the experience frustrating of course but this is my worst race so, that, so we don't count this uh, we drop these points anyway so no, no, no big deal there I go into Silverstone on the 23rd of June, uh, leading the championship still by two points from um, from uh, Rob Austin. Um, there's Stu, he made it back onto the tarmac, which is good news. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pleased, great stuff, enjoying it, uh, hoping for it to be sunny and dry. I'm uh, going to make some changes to the car, possibly between now and then. Um, so hush hush on that but uh, yeah perfect good stuff uh, right I think it's about to end it's about to go dark so um, yeah cheerio I will see you on the next one I hope you enjoyed this rabbited on a bit not much about the car or my driving but more about random stuff so and again I'm just rabbiting on so I'm just going to stop there so catch you later